Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Overend. Now I know that today Miss Yarrow was teaching you all about Valentine's Day on Zoom and making Valentine's cards for you to give to somebody that you love. So I thought I would show you the gift that I got last Valentine's Day. Isn't she beautiful? Look, her coat is covered in love hearts. She's lovely. Her name, I think we can call her Slinky, maybe. And she is one year old. But let me show you my other teddy. This is called Teddy. Hi, Teddy. And he's 33 years old. I've had him since I was a baby. And I love him. And I think he's going to stay with me forever and ever. And these two teddies can sit together while I read a story. And the book that I'm going to read to you today is called The Everywhere Bear. Let's begin. The Everywhere Bear by Julia Donaldson and Rebecca Cobb. With her blue pointy shoes and her hair in a bun, Mrs McAllister teaches class one. That's Ollie and Holly and Josie and Jay, Leo and Theo and April and May, Billy and Lily and Little Lee Woo, Daisy and Maisie and Matt who is new, Hannah Azala, Callum and Claire, Kevin and Bev and the Everywhere Bear. The Everywhere Bear has a home on the shelf, but he doesn't spend very much time by himself, for each boy and girl in the class is a friend, and he goes home with one of them every weekend. On Monday they carry him back to class one and tell all the others the things that he's done. He has bus rides with April, and horse rides with May, he eats burgers with Billy, And jelly with Jay. With Lee Wu, he's a pirate. And with Kevin, a king. And Callum and Claire push him high on the swing. He bounces with Bev. And does handstands with Holly. And likes playing football with Maisie and Ollie. He always makes dens when he goes home with Daisy. At Lily's they let him be lovely and lazy. With Leo and Theo he tinkles a tune. With Hannah Azala he goes to the moon. With Josie he whizzes about in a chair. No wonder they call him the Everywhere Bear. One rainy day, the new boy called Matt was splashing to school when he spotted a cat. And when he bent over to give it a cuddle, the Everywhere Bear tumbled into a puddle. Just round the corner, a driver called Pete sat in a van painting stripes on the street. Matt got to school and sat down on his chair. He opened his bag and the bear wasn't there. Nobody knew that the poor little fellow, just like the street, had been painted bright yellow. Nobody saw when the river of rain washed him and whooshed him head first down the drain. And nobody was there when the bear with the stripe, dizzy and dirty, splashed out of the pipe. The water was wild and the weather was wet. When Jim, Jeff and Jonathan hauled in their net. Waves rocked the boat and a storm filled the air and none of them noticed the everywhere bear. Back in the harbour, Mohammed Hussein lifted the fish off the boat with his crane. 
give me two boxes, said old Mrs. Bishop, as she cheerfully wheeled them away to her fish shop. She started unpacking them, muttered, That's odd. There's a bear wrapped in seaweed between these two cod. Out of the fish shop and into the skip, into a lorry and off to the tip. Aha! squawked a seagull called Solomon Shriek. I smell fish! And he picked up the bear in his beak. They flew over treetops and over the town and the bear saw his school when he dared to look down. Then Solomon perched on the top of the shop. This isn't a fish! And he let the bear drop! Then a very kind lady called Bethany Burke picked up the bear on her way into work. Now each Friday morning class one pays a visit to one of their favourite places. But where is it? The library! Jay finds a book about stars and Josie finds one about buses and cars. Billy likes aliens and Lily likes lizards and Hannah Azala is keener on wizards. Finally, everyone's chosen a book. They queue at the counter and Matt cries out, Look! April and May and the others say, Look where? Behind you, he's there! It's the everywhere bear! Then they carry him happily home to class one, saying, Where have you been, bear? And what have you done?